This is a demonstration of the effectiveness of the uh, scintillation probe in my hand. And I'm going to test it against the uh, Revigator sitting here as a field source. I'm going to take this scintillator and I'm going to insert it into the Revigator as a field source. Dropping it in now. The scintillator probe is a 1.2 by 1.2 by 3 inch scintillator. And it's now inside the Revigator as a field source. And I've attached it to my uh, Nucleus uh, 500 scaler. What we're looking at right now is the background count, which I did previously, and it's 11,239 counts per uh, minute. So that's the background count on this particular scintillator without the radioactive source near it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this unit on. I'm going to clear it first. I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to begin the count, one-minute count. It's really astonishing at how radioactive uh, this uh, revigator is. I think that these revigators are excellent for a uh, field source where you have uh, radiation spread evenly around your uh, probe. That's my bird in the background. We're well over 300,000. CPM, and this is in gamma uh, radiation only. So it's 383,490 CPM gamma radiation. Scintillator probe is very uh, effective picking up small amounts of radiation. In and of themselves, revigators are harmless but they serve as an excellent uh, field source. So those that wish to have a field source, I highly recommend these uh, antiques. Quack medicine antiques made during the 1920s uh, for uh, putting radon in water. People thought that was actually good for you, but really it's pretty bad. So that's just a test. The scintillator probe, mounted inside a revigator.